Hi there, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Tuesday's Talk with Grada. And today I want to shine the focus on body wisdom. Um, so let me ask you a question first to illustrate what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Have you ever sat next to a flowing river like I do? I often sit, go to the bottom of our property and I like to sit next to the fourth river and um, feel myself go really, really calm. And I know a lot of people love to go to the beach, right? And the sound of the waves and the waves crashing on the sand and uh, the wind and so on, um, really calms people's brains down and, and they feel refreshed when they come away from the beach. And <clears throat> um, uh, so today I want to bring your awareness to the fact that the wisdom that uh, makes this tide come in and out and the wisdom, the power of nature that makes the river flow downstream towards the sea and so on, that is the same powerful wisdom that runs your body. And you can actually tune into that wisdom and I'm going to give you a little taste of it today with the meditation after I finish explaining to you that your body harnesses the same power. It's that power that runs your body, that runs your immune system, that runs your life, that runs everything behind the sea. And scientists have even explained that the power of your subconscious mind, that means your unconscious mind, the mind that is the mystery behind the scene, um, the power of that is as big as the galaxy, as big, as powerful as the galaxy, right? And that's what it takes to run your body and your life. And then we also have, have our conscious mind. The conscious mind is what you're using right now to tune in to me. Uh, I'm using my conscious mind to talk to you with words, with uh, the thinking happens. Um, but the conscious mind is even less than 1% of who we are. And it is still incredibly powerful. It would probably be the, have the power of a powerful engine or maybe even a nuclear reactor, something like that. But compared to the galaxy, um, it's, it's like a, what it is to the sea, like a pebble on the beach compared to the waves. And so when I work with clients, I like to harness the power of their subconscious mind, their life force, where everything stems from. And I like to tune into that. I like to listen to that. I tune into it. And then um, I clear the blockages if there are any blockages and glitches. And I like to show to my clients as well um, how I see where they get stuck. You know, because people come to me, of course, because they are stuck. They have a glitch in their health or in their relationships, in their relationship with themselves, or in their money. And by tuning into the wisdom of your body, we can change that very quickly. And so if you have a problem or you are suffering right now, something is hurting you, you're experiencing pain somewhere, or you're feeling angry or bothered or triggered, how awesome would it be if you could harness the wisdom of your own body that's available to you, the, the power of the galaxy to just shift that out of the way so that you get a free run, you know, so your life is easier, so life starts flowing towards you. And at least um, I would love for you to learn how to bring yourself into alignment with that. So imagine you're sitting next to the river, you're sitting on the beach, you feel yourself get very, very still, and you invite that power into your body and you ask, for you to have to restore that connection. Your body, by the way, is always connected to it, but it's just the, the conscious mind where the disconnect happens. Because when we have a problem, and of course all day long we have many problems and stresses to deal with, uh, the monkey mind or the strategic mind or the ego mind, the conscious mind, these are all same words. The mental construct takes over and it's trying to find a solution for you. But your monkey mind also knows that as soon as a solution is found, uh, its job is finished, right? So it's going to find another problem because our brain is literally addicted to problems. It releases a certain set of hormones. 
um, your body is used to that and we become addicted to the hormones that we produce by our habitual thinking. So this is another reason why it's not so easy for people to tap into their body wisdom because it's literally uh, they're not used to it. And what if all their problems disappear, right? What's going to happen to you then? That will create a massive shift in your chemistry and in your identity and that's all very scary for people. So let's just do a gentle exercise today where I invite you in to your own inner core. So we have a place in our body where we can tap into our wisdom, the wisdom of the cells of our body. So our body is basically a mountain of cells, something like between 30 and 40 trillion cells. The cells of our body have access to true source or the universe or the creator in the same way that the baby is still totally connected to source. And um, so our cells often know the solution already to our problems or the end of our suffering before we know it. Our cells know what we're looking for, but we're often so busy that we, we bypass our body wisdom. And then we get lost, we get stuck deeper in the problem. And I see how people do that. Sometimes for decades on end, they still stuck in the same problem and there literally isn't any change. So let's just imagine our body wisdom, which is connected to, to the creator, the prime creator, the creator of the whole universe, comes in through the crown chakra, so the top of the head. Just imagine there is an entrance and this energy drops into your head and it flows through the back of our body. Imagine it's like a swimming pool noodle, one of those, um, what they call it, a tube, right? Imagine it's an imaginary tube. It flows through your body, through the back of your head, through your spine, the back of your spine, and it comes out near the tailbone, and then it connects deeply into the center of Mother Earth. And if you visualize yourself like that, um, you can, it's easy to see that you're like an antenna uh, and all humans are like that. We're basically just a sending and receiving station. Um, we're open and, and our frequency dictates what station we tune into. So like change up your frequency, like dial it up a bit to a better frequency, you're immediately going to receive different messages and a release from suffering and pain. All right, so this is how humans work. We are basically an electromagnetic signal that's constantly receiving energy from the universe, <clears throat> which uh, can be healing energy, uplifting energy, or of course it can be a lower vibration, and we're also sending it out. So let's just see if we can tune in how that works for us, because it's all about making um, life work for us with as little effort as possible and we do that by changing our internal experience and then our whole external experience will reshuffle itself in a positive way for us so just close your eyes and start to notice your breath and just breathe gently into your body breathing in peaceful peacefulness calm, fresh energy, spaciousness, and as you breathe out, just letting go with the intention of letting go of stuckness, hurtful feelings, stress, and overwhelm. So just breathing in fresh energy and breathing out, letting go anything that's showing up for you. Just continue to do that for a little while. Now become mindful that um, in the back of your head, behind your eyes, is a docking station where the universe docks into you. It's like a harbor and the universe, the universal energy comes in and literally slots in there, stops for a while and docks into you 
And just take your attention into the back of your head now, into the docking station. And notice the energy there is it's more spacious, calmer. impersonal it feels like no thing like nothing nobody and it gives you a rest from all the masks and the roles that you wear that you put on every morning when you have to be smart productive kind showing up your best self just let all of that drop as you become nothing for a few moments, taking your awareness into the back of your head. Now, if you have trouble connecting to that space, because you've always been too busy, just imagine there is like a lift in the back of your head, and this is like the sixth floor, because it's researching for the sixth chakra. And so the door has always been open to you. It's just you've been too busy to notice or just always rushed past the door. So this time, slowly walk up into the back of your head. And may, maybe it looks like a floor lift with a door open. And you notice it says number six. So I invite you to hop into the, step into the lift now. And just surrender to where it wants to take you. And now you're connecting with your body wisdom. So I'm inviting you now to um, close the doors, press the lift buttons where it says number four. And so you feel yourself drop down a little bit lower into your body as it takes you into your heart center. So that's the fourth chakra. And if you like, you can press the opening, the door opener, the bottom where it says open the doors. But you don't have to hop out. You can stay in the lift because you are inside the vertical core where you're divinely connected to the creator, to your own true essence, to your body wisdom that runs the cells of your body and your immune system. And just from the comfort inside the lift, look into your own heart. And you notice how big it is, how generous, how loving and connected it is. Maybe it looks like the color green or the color pink. And just appreciate the energy that runs, that is collected in the heart center, that's the energy of unconditional love and unity. There's no right or wrong there, no left or right, no up or down, no dark or light. It's just a space of pure acceptance, pure consciousness, pure love, pure unity. And just breathe that energy into your heart as you remain inside the lift of your vertical core. Now you can pause the video and stay there for a few more minutes and just allowing your heart to recalibrate itself back to generosity, abundance, love and connection, unity consciousness. Collaboration, the spirit of cooperation, softness. And then it's time to close the lift doors and press the, uh, the button where it says number two. And that takes you down into the sacral chakra, which is your dantian. Is there your womb space is there? So you just feel like a slow dropping deeply into your body. And then you get to rest just somewhere in front of your sacrum. 
between your sacrum and your womb space if you're a woman or between your sacrum and your belly button if you're a man and I invite you to open the door again and now you look out into this that whole pelvic area and this is a powerful docking station again where the universe finds a still point this is a point of creation point where everything in your life is created including your problems and the solutions the end to all suffering vitality and life force is created here at all so just have a look see what it looks like for you maybe you see a little bubble a stream bubbling up there and you notice it's powerful force of nature that's connected into your being into your earth suit in this docking station feeding your cells with wisdom that that comes all the way back from the creator eons and eons of wisdom maybe you notice the stream is a little bit clogged up and just by you looking at it and bringing your awareness to it it starts to flow easier you can put your hands on your lower abdomen if that's helpful and just surrender to whatever shows up for you there it feels like primal energy it's very still and powerful and empowering and safe Then we can stop the video and spend another five minutes here exploring this feeling and being, resting in what comes up, not fighting it, not resisting it, just being with yourself. But for now, I want you to hop back in the lift or press the button, close the doors and go all the way down into the center of Mother Earth now. Just allow the lift to go to a point of light in the center of Mother Earth, where it's Mother Earth's own docking station, where the universal consciousness of inf infinity and timeless wisdom is docked. And you are invited down in there. When you reach it, you can open the door. When you open the door, all you notice is lightness, joy, playful energy, the energy of restoration and it just feels very light so you can step out into right into the center of it and allow your body to be recalibrated, allow your wisdom to be tuned up, allow the heaviness to drop away from you and it can stay there, all the things that burden you down, the problems, issues, the stresses, they're not even a glitch on the horizon here and then you can take as long as you like staying there and just allowing your body to relax and reset itself and then you go back in the lift and close the door, and come all the way back up to behind your eyes So this is on the sixth floor, this is where your third eye is housed and it's your divine eye, your divine all-seeing eye which is always looking up, it's directed towards source, towards the cosmos, the cosmic energy. So before you open the door I want you to just double check your third eye or your divine eyes to make sure that they are clear that you don't have any um, dust or scarring on the lens of your divine eyes and if you do just use your eyes your hands to heal it pull out the dust so you can see clearly and you connect it fully to your own wisdom and when you're ready you can come back into your body into your room into the place where you are now still keeping your eyes 
one eye looking inward into the internal world and one eye looking into the external world and you can do that now. So as you're connected to your true essence, um, your core self, you start to develop a really strong sense of appreciation for yourself. Um, you become It's easier for you to bounce back from things that happen to all of us. Like at different times, it feels as if we're being pummeled right in the, in the washing machine or the dryer, or you just feel like you're, everyone's punching back, you're feeling triggered, and um, you need to come back and bring yourself back into yourself and walk through the door that's always open to you on the inside of your body where you connect to your inner core self where you find all the solutions and the wisdom to life not just for you but your relationships will heal as well this is like where there's unlimited support there's no such thing as unanswered prayer or an unanswered request or an unanswered cry if problems persist maybe sometimes it means that you haven't asked for help you haven't cried for help you haven't looked in the right places and once you start doing it your reality will change i can absolutely guarantee so um every day commit to like spending 10 minutes a day at least connecting to your inner core to your body wisdom to the force of intelligence that's as powerful as the galaxy and that's available to you every second of the day because actually you're interconnectedness itself and um, this is how you can restore your antenna the frequency that you send out will change so more positive things start to happen things are starting to flow towards you rather than you having to reach out so hard all the time and life becomes much more enjoyable and um, easier for you and also your body will feel different because it will be easier for you to feel energized rather than feeling exhausted all the time so i hope that you enjoy this this is one way how i healed my body after i got hit by a truck and we all experience our own version of a truck so some people are dealing with family breakdowns health breakdown financial disasters and so on and um, it's not that we can always prevent the track right but we need to learn how we can bounce back and that way we can develop a new a level of confidence and trust in our own life and body and our journey especially with the busy season upon us so i hope you really enjoyed this and thanks for tuning in everyone and i'm really looking forward to spending more time with you next tuesday at the same time let me know if you have any topics you want to discuss and um, if you want to book in a session with me before christmas i don't know if there are any spots left but you can try otherwise um, there will be plenty more times for us to work together in the new year thanks for tuning in everyone big love from me bye for now